Hey guys, I haven't done this for a whole minute. Um, I'm about to head out to uh, do a few few things, and then I'm gonna head to Toowoomba in the morning to check out the RM William um, warehouse sales. So there's a big warehouse with uh, RM Williams in Toowoomba. It's about an hour and 40 minutes away from where I am in Brisbane. So uh, I'm gonna go and check it out today. It's the first day. I got this morning off work, and usually anyway, but I'm gonna go check it out. I'm wearing my Comfort Craftsman right now, I'll show you. So, I mean, uh, excuse the best, but this is the first time it's on the foot, wearing my socks that I got in that competition. Looks like it's gonna rain today a little bit, so I'm curious to see how this bad boy will do in the rain. Um, so, oh. As we speak, it started, it started drizzling, it started raining outside, so uh, I'm going to get to my car, do what I got to do, and then let you guys know when I'm driving to the Toowoomba. Alright, let's see when I see you. Bye-bye. Alright, I just sorted out what I needed to do, which is a bit of a pain in the bum, but it's done. The shop is like, it's done. Um, but um, driving to the Toowoomba um, factory now, they already open. It's going to take me like an hour, like I said, so gonna take my time I'm gonna drive around probably not gonna be taking too much of the footage around when I'm driving but we'll see we'll see um, I'm not sure what I can do with the camera to film it film anything um, I did a I did a Toowoomba trip about it's a three years almost five years ago now with my friend so I can film a bit back then so if you want to check by my use the footage there um, I'm just gonna be driving for that for the whole hour just to get to the warehouse and um, check out what we have in stock I'm kind of interested in that like I said the comfort craftsman has been really comfortable right now but obviously I'm gonna do a bit more walking once I'm in Toowoomba so um, that would definitely um, you know see how I feel I'm gonna be wearing it for the whole day today because I got I got uh, I got stuff to do straight after so I'll be um, wearing it for the whole day and see if the comfort craftsman lives up to its name being extremely comfortable I'm certainly it will be right now it's been perfect so far so um, and it looks great so um, yeah can't can't wait to get some wears out of it um, like I said this is the first time I worn it um, after I got it um, so yeah I'll see you when I get to Toowoomba later but, I mean pretty much 11 minutes away I am away to the RM warehouse. This is Toowoomba, my guys. It's crazy, man. This place is hectic. Oh, I'm so close. If I, if I can get this to focus. <laughs> I'm still trying to work out this camera after I put the new lens. But I'm at this intersection, so the red, so I'm gonna like, get to the warehouse and I'll talk to you guys then. It's a crazy, crazy scenario right now. Sorry, brother. I'm just trying to see if I can find anything right now. But... Holy fuck, there's a lot of people. <laughs> there's a lot of people, my G. There's so many. Guys, got out. Like, I uh, almost forgot to even took the friggin' footage of me going out. It was so busy, as you probably saw for just a brief second. I bought two pair of kangaroo. One 10 buck, a dark 10 buck. It was an outlet one, and this one here is a black one. I'll show you guys in a second. I got a wallet as well for my dad, and somewhere there. There we go. Oh my god, I literally had to, like, it was so busy. I can't really film in there because I was holding all the. If you don't hold on to it, it's gonna get taken. Um, it's not me in Australia, these ones, but uh, it's a nice wallet for my dad. So uh, I'm going to, um, yeah, give it to him when I see him. And, um, that's the rest of the stock. It's 850 bucks in total. That's how much I spent. I was like, my budget was a thousand dollar, so I didn't proc it. But I was looking at one of the suede suede pair, but um, I didn't get it at the end. There was a not in my size. Um, I, re I found out that my uh, I can fit an 8G as well, um, so it's not too bad. Um, but oh my goodness, those two pairs are 8G, so they're gonna fit me well. Um, but God, it was pretty hectic. I'm, I'm just like kind of still coming back to it. I'm gonna go to the op shop nearby and I have to get ready to drive back to work soon. So <laughs> it's crazy, man. All right, see ya. All right, guys, I'm just eating at a little barbecue place called Checkers in Toowoomba. 
Uh, I'm not sure if you guys know what this place is, uh, if this place is good or not. I'm kind of hungry. I got like a burger meal with some chips and drinks. And uh, afterwards, I'm gonna go to check out some drift stores and drive out of here at around, drive out to Wombat around 2 o'clock because I um, got a 4.30, <laughs> got a 4.30 um, schedule. So, yeah, not too bad. I've got the two pairs, like I said before. I finally got some room to like actually talk to you guys and like gosh it's so crazy I, I've heard usually it's only like three people working and um, some people doesn't know that this was a, there was a sale day come in as well and they like just got surprised by how many people is actually there um, like I said I was taking on and off the the, the, the craftsman the, the craftsman today and it feels so comfortable. Obviously, you got some beautiful wrinkle now. I'm taking it on and off. I was crouching down. I was like bending all the way, but um, they are holding up nicely. And, um, yeah, I'm just really happy with them. Um, so those are really good. So I got the black pair of kangaroo. Um, I'll show you guys when I get back. Uh, but I got the kangaroo pair in the black. That's the sec That's the previous season, so it doesn't have the hole in it. There's also the ten buck one, which is like a dark, a dark brown one that you saw. You can see all the um, the kangaroo like imperfection, you would say, like the skin, like the leather. And um, since they're usually way more expensive than like your yearling five ninety nine ones, um, they're only three ninety nine. Um, so I bought both pairs. I was like, you know what? I was thinking if I should take just one, but I bought both. Um, um, I think that would be a good, good, uh, good investment at the end. Um, I, I really like the way it looks with the kangaroo texture. It's like that's something special to Australia, right? So I wanna, I wanna like get that kangaroo in um, in the shoes as well. So I can't wait to um, actually get some wears in it and wear them, wear them out. All right, I'm gonna eat and then we'll talk to you guys later. Yo, yo, yo. I'm in like the city, city heart of Toowoomba right now. I think I just parked here. I can park here for an hour. I want to check out some, I'm gonna check out some drift stores around the area. But I think I've been here once. <laughs> this this location I, we eat here last time when I was with Ronald four years ago, five years ago when I was here last time. Um, there was like graffiti walls on the side there. You can see. I don't know if you guys can see this. And uh, I'm just checking out some drift stores, some op shops before I uh, head back to Brisbane. Yeah, this river, especially, I remember this river because I walked past it. And uh, when we get to the restaurant that we went to, nothing really changed, man. It's just Toowoomba. But I just haven't been here for so long. Like, I wouldn't even be here if I, not for the I am William Cell, so for that. A lot of restaurants. Shit, I should have eaten here instead, man. There's so much selection. But um, the $14.90 for that steak sandwich that I had, it's not bad. But God, even uh, even Toowoomba is inflated like a motherfucker. <laughs> that shit was expensive. Um, where was I going? I was going for the op shop around here. I was supposed. To, I'm all, almost there. Am I there? Where is it? Somewhere around here I should be. Probably walk past it, man. I don't know. Anyway, I'll, I'll talk to you guys when I uh, see it. Oh wait, this is the this is the graffiti. This is the wall that I was in. Right oh, yeah. Oh my god. Man, now it's super dead because obviously it's a freaking weekday. But oh my god. Yeah, this this was where I was before last time, five years ago. It's a long time ago. You just like, you don't really find opportunity to come to Toowoomba, do you? <laughs> you don't. It's nothing to do here. Oh, I'm just talking shit. But alright, anyway, I'll, I'll go find the op shop. So, yeah. The first one is called Save the Children. You know, it's all suits in. in We're here at the second location, probably the last. Um, see if there's anything here worthwhile. Hello. Is there any male, um, mostly female items here? Is that right? There's some male things up the middle there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, smaller section usually because we don't have too many selections. Oh man, I know. Oh, look at that. It's gonna say, Tennis jacket. 
actually it's pretty lit too. It's too heavy though, it's too heavy for Brisbane. Bunch of jackets. Damn. It's like a it's like a teal. This feels pretty cool actually. House too. That's a little jacket also. Pretty good for pretty good for most off shops, you know. The birds got my attention. Let's get this one, this one. This is a long, long coat, man. Freaking heavy, too. 40 bomb. Pretty expensive, though. Let's see. Let's see what material it is. It's a large. I don't know. That's the best way to check it. This is super heavy, though. Feels like a. Feels like a wool, wool blend. I'll check the actual tag in this sec. Bro, I don't know, man. I kinda like it. <laughs> Dude, this, this shoulder is so long, but the sleeve length, the sleeve length is bright. Like, it stops where the watch is. <laughs> the, the sleeve length is the right length. The, oh, the length is what I like, man. Look at the length. So, Oh my god. Holy crap. Let's see if I can do the button as well, but god. This is kinda of itchy man, it's one of those itchy ones. What the fuck? How freaking wild man. Look at that vent though. Alright, alright, I'm just walking out from pretty much the second last one. I don't, I don't think there's another one around. Let me check, but I think it's pretty good for me to go as well. Hang on, there's a good Samaritan. I don't think it's open. Oh, it's open to 2.30. And I have to probably drive to that one because it's really far away. I can't walk there. There's a Vini to Umba. Yeah, those guys at the different section now. But uh, that jacket that I tried on, not jacket, that coat that I tried on, is so it's so hideously large after I, I walked out from the actual, um, from the dressing room. So it looks like I can actually see it, but it's so cool. The length is perfect. But, um, it's just way too big. If it was a uh, two size down, uh, I would have been able to uh, grab it. Cause like the length, the length is perfect. I want something like that for a long time. Something that is like all the way down to your ankle. Like preferably even two vent. That was a single vent, but if it's a two vent, bro, that's like you straight, straight up walk out of a K drama, man. But um, it's all right. It's not meant to be. We will um, keep looking. But for now. Say goodbye to Toowoomba and you know, get back to work. Um, but once I get once I get home, I'll show you the two shoes that I got. Like I said, that's that's a great saving on those two shoes. Um, I can't wait to wear them as well. Most likely going to be I don't know I don't know if I should wear a pair back to um, back home, but um, or just wear this chestnut one that I've been wearing. Really comfortable, really comfortable. I mean I've been walking in them for like the past. Um, past two hours and just zero zero discomfort feels like I'm just wearing sneakers so awesome boots um, for the price that I pay for is you can't even go wrong but um, yeah so that's it for me in Toowoomba I'll see you guys when I uh, talk to you guys tonight when I show you guys all the boots so bye bye all right weird spot I'm just at the car park right now um, but show you what I got at the end show you it's better to show you here my first pair is the um, 10 buck it's the 10 buck kangaroo um, comfort craftsman and um, like I said they usually go for around what 645 um, full price and these ones are kind of second so it got the hole in it but these are 399 at the end you can it's like a really darker it's like a darker shade um, than your normal 10 buck I think the other 10 buck are more a, a bit lighter than this so this is one of the darker ten. Obviously, there's some discoloration. Most likely, like because obviously it's actual leather. It's from a kangaroo, so probably like some scars from the kangaroo. I really quite like it. The little dark spot are a fair bit of character. So these are eight Gs. I'm usually an eight H, but uh, I tried it on. It wasn't too bad. It's tighter, but I'm pretty sure since it's a softer leather, I can most likely stretch it out just by wearing it. Um, other than that, I bought the wallet. These ones are not made in Australia, but bought this one for for my dad. So got a nice wallet. It got the 
you know, Iron Williams symbols in it. You know, got a little car slot, flipperino, bunch of bunch of slots. Uh, I think you'll like it. So beautiful, kind of like ox ox blood, pinkish color. Quite a nice wallet. So that's for him. Second pair, exactly the same size, but it's a black pair. So these ones are, doesn't have the holes in it because it's not really a second. It's literally just an older, old the um, it's the older what do you call it style. It's just not the not the most updated style, but it's the kangaroo as well in the black. And like, damn, look at this. You can I don't know if you can see. It's a lot more grainier, a lot more kind of pattern, patterny than the normal yearlings, obviously. Much, it's a lot, it's a quite a bit, like a bit thinner as well, because it's a, I'm not sure if it's softer, but it's gonna be, it's thinner than my normal yearling leather boots, definitely. So I really want to get some wears out of those, both of those ones, both are 8G, so I hope they stretch out. They're gonna stretch out a little bit easier than the normal, Yelling, just because they are kangaroo leather, they're a bit softer. So, who knows? I'm, I'm really keen to get them on my foot properly because I couldn't even film that much when I'm inside because it's so hectic when I was in the actual warehouse area. Like, people are just kind of like, if you don't hold on to the boxes, your, your product is gone. They're gonna like take it, they're gonna look at it, they're like, oh, that's my size, and they're gonna yoink it. So, it's pretty crazy. Um, Glad, I'm glad I made it out in one piece, and uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. I spent a fair chunk of money, but usually these will run. These will probably run. Uh, run you what? How much? Six forty-five times two. Oh, quick, quick math. Yeah, they usually be like thirteen hundred, and now they're around like eight ninety. So ace, yeah, eight hundred. All right. Well. That's it for this little weird top of the roof um, car park kind of haul. Um, this hole, this hole, um, hole. I don't even know H A U L. Sounds like I'm swearing, but um, yeah, got my got my Iron William fix. So not gonna buy anything from them for a while. Okay, Jake, don't jinx it, man. Touch wood. I'm, I'm addicted. They're they're awesome, but these ones are usually gonna be a lot more expensive. So I look into them. The other the other ones that is on sale is like um, a lot of bow shoes. A lot of bow shoes were on sale. A lot of um, kind of like gardening boots. They're like forty-nine dollar from from the no more five hundred bucks. Um, so all those are great sales. I just don't really have a use for them. Um, there was some beautiful kind of like leather jacket. All the sizes there are gone, but and there's also some. Um, there's also some. Oh, crap! It's gone blank. Um, like loafers, um, but none of the sizes left are, are for me and, and like I said they probably gonna change it up every day for the next 10 days this is the first day and I think a lot of people are coming on the first day I've seen people coming from from the Gold Coast I've seen people coming from North Queensland they staying in Toowoomba for a few days just to hit multiple days um, and get some get some bargain well you know as bargainy as it can be um, but uh, that's it for me I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out now um, it's been a good day, busy but good, and um, I'll see you guys when I when I see you guys. Um, hopefully soon, because I, I think I'm gonna pump out more content. I, I do miss talking to the camera. I do miss making vlogs. Um, it's my first one for a long time, so I'm rusty, but bear with me, and I'll be I'll be with you guys when I see you. Bye bye.